G'day gamers, Gob here. Welcome to a brand new series. This is Skyblock. Now I've been inspired to give this a go by a series Pixel Rift's doing. And this is a version of the Skyblock maps uh, which has a number of uh, custom features like all these different islands and things like that. Now what is Skyblock if uh, you guys haven't uh, seen it? Well I'll put a link to the site where I got this from in my description but Skyblock basically is Minecraft with a difference. You are marooned on a little island floating above the void and all you've got is what's here on this island with this chest and that's it that's all you've got and the idea is to try and survive uh, move out to the other islands get resources and um, basically build your empire from there so it's nice having grass because that could be the source of seeds yes I got some seeds and why am I excited about seeds seeds means wheat which is a source of food okay and I'll take these flowers now what we need to do in this game it's all about preserving resources and not wasting sustainability and um, making never-ending supplies now this at the moment is my only source of dirt so I've got to try not to lose it as you would have seen in the chest I have a lava bucket and a block of ice so that gives me a water source and a lava source which put together gives me the ability to make a cobblestone generator but this is my only source of grass so I can't lose my grass so what am I going to do is make sure I don't get rid of all of this dirt why am I getting rid of this dirt? Well, having it stacked on top of each other is not an efficient use of the dirt. I want to be able to use all of it. Plus, when I get this tree, I want to make sure I catch any saplings because the saplings are what allows me to re-plant my wood supply. And without a wood supply, I'm pretty well doomed. So what I'm doing at the moment is just placing down this dirt so it expands the island so that any saplings that are dropped hopefully will land on the platform so I don't lose it. The moment the platform's still rather small but it's getting there and my grass is already starting to regenerate right I'm nearly ready to start punching wood right, I'll get this dirt and I'll put this one away I don't really need this one at the moment right crunch time I don't want this to be the only wood that I ever get got wood I'll leave the last one there so that the leaves don't naturally deteriorate and I'll start punching leaves and hopefully I'll get a sapling yes I've got a sapling happy days I'll put that away so if I fall to my doom I don't lose it right what I'm hoping for is to get more than one sapling. An apple would be nice too because at the moment I don't have any food. Oh, oh yes, happy days. I'll put that one away. 
and this is a good start. Now, in Skyblock, you need to hold crouch a lot. Because the last thing you want to do is fall off into the void with whatever you're carrying, because it ain't coming back. Keep punching these leaves. Right, and I'm going to need something to stand on to finish off this piece of wood. There we go. And will we get anything else? Doesn't look like it. But, put that in there, we'll take some of those, I'll take one sapling, and where's the sound? About there. We'll take these four here. I'm lazy, so I'll use my thing, get myself some sticks, put my crafting table down there, make myself a pick, and there we go. And now, we're ready to do our cobblestone generator. Now the important thing with this, is you want to keep your lava source bucket that uh, lava source block as far away from the water as possible. You don't want to lose it. Put my ice there. And there we go. That is our cobblestone generator. Now we can actually mine out that. Put that there. And we can start making cobble. And that's where it's going to be now, is it? Right. Yep. Happy days. And we've got ourselves a source of sustainable building resources. Now, I'll be okay for the first couple of nights, but after, what, night three, I'm going to need some form of protection because the phantoms will come. Now that's either get myself a bed so I can sleep for overnight, or it's going to be get myself some form of overhead covering. But I can see night until I got a bed being the time that I hide away and just do a lot of this grinding. Right, I'll get myself this there. I'll make myself some slabs, because slabs are much more resource efficient than um, blocks. And I'll start working on extending our island. Now I'm using bottom slabs because bottom slabs are not spawnable blocks. It means any nasties won't be able to spawn on this. Not that they would at the moment because we are way too close. Oops, a daisy. preserved those. Right. And we have a fire. And we'll go back to mining. And what I'll end up doing is making myself a cobble pick. But I might as well use up this wooden one. It's starting to get dark. So 
I'll just keep on doing some of this and I'll probably see you in the morning. And welcome back. My wooden pick finally gave out and I've swapped now to a stone pick and look how much quicker it is. Isn't it exciting to get excited about a stone pick? But it's still night time. What I might do while I've got you back, I actually don't have, do I have any more sticks? I'll make some more sticks. Actually, I'll leave him there. I'll make myself a wooden hoe. Put those there. I'm going to need those because this water source here actually will allow me to grow food. So I'll put that back there and I've got myself a pumpkin so I'll plant my pumpkin seed there and now I've got myself a little garden. Yes I do. And I'll keep on grinding and waiting for the morning. Oh no I lost a piece. It lost into the void. Lost another one into the void. That's not nice. Right, well, I'll keep on grinding and I'll see you in the morrow. And the sun's rising on this lovely little sky block island. Now, I've managed to collect myself over a stack and a bit of slabs more than enough to extend my little island out a fair way and I'm going to do that right now just to give me a little bit more space to work with do is, I think I've got one more sapling, I might plant that and get like a little tree farm going. But at the moment, I'm just giving myself some more room to work with. Got to remember those bits of dirt aren't on top of anything so if I aren't careful when I mine those away I will lose them for good at the moment just putting a bit of a wall around my island well not a wall sorry a um, platform give me a much bigger area to work with. Right. And that is a much bigger platform area. Go away. I wonder if I can mine that dirt without losing it. That's the way to go. Yep, slowly working on it. Might end up relocating all this dirt. Hopefully without falling into the void. Actually, I'll get that 
sapling. Put a block of dirt there. You, my friend, can come away and put a block of dirt there. And that becomes my new ground level. Put that dirt away. Don't want to lose it. And I might continue extending this area out. I feel like this is a very risky way to do it. One way to do it is actually to just put a water elevator get underneath your island place a couple of blocks and then just work around oh I haven't lost one yet touch wood I think I'm tempting fate by saying that aren't I let's extend this which direction shall we go? This way. And we'll take it out even further. So that we can get ourselves another spot for another tree when I get another sapling. Better go and put that out. Not going to hurt my chest, but still. We just don't like fires on our island. And already, as you can see, we've extended our little bit of a living space quite significantly. Hope we get another tree very soon. that out and happy days might add another row to this one here have I got enough to put two and we're getting there oh, I think we'll get this done and we're nearly out of resources happy day and we have a tree awesome and what I might do is just make myself more slabs because this is going to be my ground level I just don't want the ability of anything to fall into the void so there we go do this now with a degree of safety. The chance of me falling in the void from here is somewhat low. And there's a sapling. Happy days. If I can get another one, it'll be great. There's a, some sticks, which is good. saplings come on another sapling would be lovely and this is another sapling happy days seems to be quicker 
when I punch the wood, doesn't it? Any more saplings? No more saplings. But you can go there. And we shall extend this out. A little bit. Ah! need a piece of dirt. Put that away, put that away. Go along there, put my piece of dirt there, and I now have three trees! Yes, I do! Happy days for me! Just going to... get rid of these doubles. Because they ain't that efficient. And they look unseemly. And they are also a source of potential spawning. Which at this stage I'm just not ready for. There we go. And I think we're about to go back into cobble grinding. Our wheat's growing quite nicely. I now have three tree sources. Things are looking good for gob. And we have another tree! We'll get this bad boy. Take away the leaves. Oh, yeah, I got an apple. Happy days. We'll keep the apples because down the track, when we eventually get gold and things like that, if we can spawn some zombie villagers, we might be able to cure them with a golden apple and a splash potion to become a villager. Hmm. I haven't seen any saplings off this one. That's not helpful. You're supposed to be able to sustain yourself. Any? Any? You serious? Not a single sapling. Well, that's not good. Put those in there. And we'll go back to cobblestone mining. Well, we might call it a day for this episode. We might call it a day on this episode now, as the sun is setting in the distance. It's the end of day two on our Skyblock Island. I'm down to two trees, but I have a food source, I have a cobblestone generator, and hopefully my trees are still going to grow. I have a reasonable sized platform, looking okay for gob so far. If you liked this episode, please give it a like. Don't forget to comment and give me some tips and ideas. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. It'll be really appreciated. But until next time, hooroo!